All right, so we have this this beautiful piece here. Uh, my man Lemus, I'm Elephant. Okay, uh, the medium, the medium is already crazy. It's cardboard, something something fragile. You know, it's a little worn. It has, it's showing its marks and scars. You know what it's been through the process from getting it from where it was to being transformed into what it is we have here. What would you say this piece does for for people when they look at this? What was the what's the story behind it? The meaning to it? Or what would you want people to take away from a piece like this? Well, you know, when they look at me working with cardboard, the first thing that people ask me uh, is if they can do the same thing. Okay. So it relates to, to everyday people instantly, you know, because for the most part, you use boxes, especially like boxes like this, either to transport right. or you're moving or, or somewhat, you know, whether you're you're, you're getting out of one place, putting your stuff in a box, a cardboard box, right. and then you move on to another place. So in a way, that that by itself is already symbolic. Okay. You know what I mean? You're you're transporting somebody somewhere, but just just the cardboard. I, I thought about this in many different ways. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I get that. Yeah. So as far as everyone has relatability to this, because everyone at some point in time moves. Yes. It's, and it's familiar. Cardboard's cardboard's everywhere. Amazon boxes. Yeah. Uh, you're moving. It's time to pack up. Uh, everyone can somehow relate to just that experience of cardboard. So it's already transporting you back to something familiar. And what about something that maybe people wouldn't know about this piece when looking at it? There's been artists, you know, all over, all over different towns. You know what I mean? That, that maybe might be malnourished or they don't have the same, um, I guess, resources that other other towns have. Okay. So then they have to take it out to the street and, right. and unleash what they have. This is the closest you get to something as rugged, you know what I mean, as, as, right. like, as I don't know, a brick from Brooklyn somewhere, you know what I mean? Okay, by yeah. taking taking any of your resources, regardless of what they are, and then being able to create with those. Like you yeah. said, the malnourished, I mean, you can be malnourished physically, yes. and you can be malnourished creatively, exactly. and spiritually, by different yeah. means, but yet you can take whatever it is you have around you in your environment and transform that to your benefit. Somehow, yeah, you gotta, you gotta shape you know something that is everyday ordinary into into something and so it's turning nothing into something and that's where the, the the remixing of whatever it is it could be a trash bag it could be a wall you know what i mean that has been i don't know abandoned you chisel at it and then you create a face you know what i mean so it, there's so many ways to present art and especially in those in those areas you know what i mean that that needed the most so this is the way that i chose cardboard but then when i looked at it, i was like you know i ripped out part of it and it started exposing the uh, the honeycomb. The honeycomb's know. behind it. Yeah, the that's, that's a fantastic job with that because yeah. the thing is, it's so, like I said, it's so fragile. Mm -hmm. And it's just a thin layer above the honeycomb, but yet yeah. it's so evenly removed from, for example, this top right portion. You kind of, it's really open, it's really exposed, but over here it's a lot more. It's not all the way through. Yeah, so it just kind of just gets past the <laughs> gets just past the surface and leaves you with a little bit more more to add on to the, to the picture. You know, I think people need to see it just rugged, just as is. You know, as is is such a it's such a big you know what I mean word, especially when we when we are a society that tends to use things and then the second time around it's as is. Right. You never know what you're really gonna encounter with it, but it's gone through, like you said, it's this history of maybe, who knows what this box was used for, you know what I mean? It could right. be from somewhere in Indonesia with somebody, it could be someone from Japan, but here it is, you know what I mean? Now it's a piece of art. Save the most creative power of nature. Save the most important agents that influence the dynamics of nature. I am biological diversity. Why was that? Why was that put there? Because the African elephant, well, elephants, period, they are considered to be, okay, they're, they're an agent. They're no longer like one creature, you know what I mean? Like, for example, you can take any form of, I don't know, amphibian, okay? okay? It's, it's almost as if they're all together, they're almost an element. Like, you have fire, you have water, you have air. The elephant is almost considered to be a, an element all by itself. It's no longer just one, you know what I mean, one creature. Okay, all right. So all, that's the reason why they're all they're synchronized together. Okay. And, and without this creature, everything else is completely out of whack. It's, yeah, it's, just a, it's just a matter of time until these animals become extinct, just like the mammoth. 
just like the other four different species of elephants all over the world that came from the map. And they're next. Right now, they're in the endangered list. You know? So these pieces are all completely about, you know what I mean, how we need to be a little bit more into climate change. How can we solve these issues and be smart about it? It's got to be a way for us to actually have people that can actually make changes and save these creatures that are definitely going to shape what we have in the future. You know what I mean? It's not necessarily like we're just going to hug up an elephant on the heaven. No, not, not at all, but yeah. to some level, what we do today has an effect on a multitude of other sources and factors. So in a sense, we can be the elephant as far as that energy or that driving force of a multitude of other things to be that could possibly come and go, such as the mammoth and yeah. soon to be elephant as far as the danger and the problems with that. Totally, yeah. That's what's biological diversity, you know? It, it takes more than just one being, it takes a whole community. As so as as a whole diversity, you know what I mean, of different creatures coming together, and us being the ones that use our tools, either to build or destroy. We're, we're destroying too much of the of the areas that these animals need to breed and to live in, you know. And that's the reason why I did it on cardboard because ten years, this cardboard, either you take care of it or it will disintegrate. Right. So all by itself, it's another sim symbolism behind that. Either you take care of it, right, or it's gonna all disintegrate. Everything needs care, man. Yeah, Everything much. needs TLC. Yeah, exactly. Very true. <laughs> of course, always gotta have uh, the Lemus tag. World Elephant Day. Have that World Elephant Day dot org. Yes, that's very important. Well, that's hard attention because the thing is, it's a piece that means something, and there's a way for you to be able to find out more. Totally. So, it's like, hey, I'll give this all four. I like how the piece it goes. Like this side over here is just barely there, but this part like it's kind of off the edge oh, yeah. right here and it's you know there's, there's there's more there's more to be but it's just not yeah. it's like oh it just kind of goes out and into everything else. Yeah for the most part I didn't necessarily like you know how I wanted to actually be you know, exactly the same. Yeah. So then I decided to just kinda of extend that one out. Like you said I wanted I wanted that it, it just went yeah. over I mean, now at the trunk. Like, you know this you know this way more to the other. Yeah, totally. You know, you this, know this trunk right here is uh, definitely he's got a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's right. He's an African up. It's huge. Big proud and strong. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. The eyes, you know, you see the strength of his eyes, but you can tell, you know, he's going to war. You know, he's got some scars. A little bit of a twinkle, a little bit of a glitter around the eye area and then just vaguely around. Certain, yeah. certain areas, but hey, everybody had that like that twinkle in their eyes. Soul, rest the soul. Soul, the soul. Yeah, and these right here, to be honest with you, this is pretty much a dream. It's like looking straight right into it. So that people will not, will not dare do that. <laughs> right, that's true. But at the same time, it's like this is all a part of. <laughs> yeah. It's all a part of the decay. Like at some point in time, this would have come off. Like yeah. everything would have eventually. One of the edges would have got messed up. Would have got scuffed, bumped, burned, crumpled. Right? Yeah, like you said, it's a very delicate piece. Right. But this one in particular, is, it just stands out almost like almost an inch away from the wall. Mm. So it's it's most likely was probably used for like a mirror or like something like glass. You know. So. Everything dealing with with uh, fragility, you know, it's like yes, the cardboard itself. This is even protecting something that was fragile. Yeah. You know, uh, the honeycomb structure underneath there meant to absorb the shock from. Exactly. Yeah, like see, so many, you have so many ways that you can that you can actually symbolize cardboard. Right. From. When I first started, I was a little bit like reluctant on how we're, I was a little worried about you know how people were actually going to feel about the piece, but then I was like, you know what? How do I feel about it? Just like you know, everybody has their their spirit. You get the spirit in the eyes, and everybody has their everybody has their like their, their shock protectors. You know what I mean? Like that's what the honeycomb is like. That's the shock protectors on a person, a person's self. You know, you know stay strong.